Hello, my name is James and today we're going to be discussing my top 5 favourite guns in Terraria. Now these guns will be merited not only on their firepower, but on their impact on the game. So please, sit back and enjoy as I talk about a category of weapons that are sure to tear a new one. Now kickstarting our list in a number 5 slot is one of the most iconic weapons before the 1.1 patch, the Mini Shark. Loved at the time for its insanely fast fire rate and its 33% chance not to consume ammo, this gun definitely stood out above the selection of semi automatic guns also available at the time. Despite the weapon's low damage in comparison to the Phoenix Blaster, with a stack of bullets this weapon was effective on all of the pre-hard mode bosses. However, one of its drawbacks being the complete lack of knockback, meaning the enemies in a close proximity might have the chance on pulling a fast one on you. One of the brilliant things about this weapon is how easy it is to obtain. All that is required is an arms dealer and 40 gold, a price that was later reduced to 35 gold. This weapon was certainly fantastic at the time, however the reason why it is so low on this list is due to the fact that once entering hard mode this weapon becomes much less useful, unless you're using it to craft another more powerful weapon. Following a steampunk theme within Terraria, the Clockwork Assault Rifle steals the number 4 slot, with its effective 3 round burst and its effectiveness at defeating the first wave of hard mode enemies you encounter. The Clockwork Assault Rifle is a perfect entry gun for hard mode Terraria, as it's not only effective at saving ammo but boasts an impressive 19 damage which can be later increased with modifiers and armor sets. One of the reasons why this gun is so effective is because of its fast fire rate, which should combat you against close encounters as you begin to mine your first set of hard mode ults. Now I'm not saying this gun is perfect at tackling all enemies, but well timed shots and effective use of bullets, this gun should serve you well. Now the position of this gun was heavily debated due to its speed being based on the user. Taking the number 3 spot on our list is the Venus Magnum. With a base damage of 36 and a velocity of 13.5, this certainly isn't a gun to be messed with. The Venus Magnum can be used to tear through a wide selection of bosses and most certainly packs a punch. However its main drawback being that it's a single fire shot meaning that the user's DPS is completely down to their ability of clicking speed, which can also make it very tiring to use the gun and much less satisfying than a spray and pray machine gun. Another reason why this gun isn't higher on the list is due to the fact that it is obtained so late in the game, being an occasional drop from the Plantera boss. Don't get me wrong, there is plenty right with this weapon and you'll certainly have a fun time using it. Let's just hope you've trained your trigger finger. Now getting into some more powerful guns, second slot is blown away by the Mini Shark's bigger brother, the Mega Shark. Now I may be a little biased to this weapon considering I rate his little brother so highly, but this weapon builds upon all that was great about the Mini Shark. Now boasting an impressive 17 increased damage over the Mini Shark, it also has a 17% more likely chance to not consume ammo. I know it's low, but thankfully the gun also has knockback now. And like I said, this will come in handy. This weapon is best used mid to late hard mode as it's effective on some of the mechanical bosses but falls short on some of the events in the game. A sequel to the Mega Shark is hopefully set to release soon titled the SDMG, which is a tie-in weapon with the game Edge of Space, however I'll talk more about it when it's finally implemented despite being able to obtain using inventory edits. So what will take the number one slot? Will it be the most powerful gun or the most fun? Well it's a mix of both. The chain gun is one of the fastest guns in the game with a use time of full. The chain gun is also matched with the Mega Shark which both sport a 50% chance of not consuming ammo, meaning you can fire this thing without a kit. Despite this weapon's inaccuracy, its high speeds are not only fun to play around with, but sound very satisfying when taking down enemies big or small. If paired with homing shots, this weapon could be a nightmare within the minds of many, and that's why it has my number one slot. Agree with my list? Be sure to let me know about your top 5 list in the comment section below. And if you're feeling adventurous, why not click on my latest top 5 video in which I talk about some of my favourite games and why I rank them so highly. Thank you all for watching, my name is James and be sure to stay subscribed for the latest trial news, top 5 series and a host of other things all in one place. Peace.